Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Vinky Gumholson and Andy Cohen and Bravo are officially over. She's no longer a Real Housewives of Orange County. Okay guys, so it looks like it's official. Vicki Gumbelson, the OG of the Real Housewives of Orange County, is out. And she just broke the news on her Instagram account. This is what she wrote. She says, I will always be the OG of the OC, but it's time to say goodbye to the Real Housewives of Orange County. It's been an incredible ride for 14 years, and I want to thank all of you for your support, for your love, and for whooping it up with me along the way. I've been working on my new projects that will be exciting and empowering and inspirational. My podcast with Westwood One will be launching soon and I will have much more to say about it on Whooping It Up With Vicky. I hope you will join me with my new journey, so please stay tuned. I love all my fans and I want to thank Bravo and Evolution for this incredible experience which my family and I will never forget. Now, I don't know about you, but I will say she went out with class. I mean, especially for someone that was pushed out of the show. Now, let's get into the rumors. Now, let's just be honest, people. We all know Vicky was pushed out, fired, whichever way you want to say it. At the end of the day, she's no longer a cast member. And she's no longer a cast member for one reason and one reason only. That would be head honcho Andy Cohen. And it all started the season before last when she accused Kelly Dodd of being on drugs, specifically the C word, which I can't say or my video will be banned, but it's a stimulant that will keep you up for days. Some people call it sugar booger. You get the point people? She was accusing Kelly Dodd of being on the stimulant. So after Kelly Dodd, cried to the producers, they ended up demoting her, you know, like a slap on the wrist. But Vicky didn't take this too lightly. At first she pouted. You remember when she went on vacation to Mexico with Steve because she couldn't take the demotion too well? Then she cried to her good pals, Tamara and Shannon. Then eventually she did film as a friend to the show. And if you ask me, and no one has, I think she did a pretty good job last season. I mean, for me, all of the interesting scenes were when she was on camera. But that's just my opinion. According to the rumors, the nail in the coffin for Vicky was her reunion performance. Now, I'm sure you guys remember because at the end of the day, it was a really hard thing to forget. She was like screaming at Andy Cohen, saying that I'm the OG of the show. I deserve respect. This is my show. I started this. I mean, really, who yells at the boss? And even worse, who yells at the boss on camera? Then it gets even worse. I would say around BravoCon, when they had the whole BravoCon weekend, she was going around saying she would not return to the show as a friend of the show. She would only return as a full-time housewife. In other words, she was being full-on demanding. I mean, there's just no other way to put it. She was basically saying, bring me back full-time or don't bring me back at all. Now, we all know at the end of the day, Andy Cohen loves his housewives. He feels like they're his children. I mean, that is, if he kisses behind, if you snooze, brown nose, whatever you want to call it, up to Andy Cohen, you have it made. He will make you rich. He will make sure that your life is good. He will do whatever you want. But if you turn your back on him and start giving him demands, oh boy, you must pay the price. But then again, isn't that common sense? Who turns their back on their boss publicly? I mean, do you really need a lesson in this, Vicky? Who does that? I mean, all of this, this is my show, I started this, I was here from the beginning, is really not a true statement. It's not your show at all. It's Andy Cohen's show, like, duh. So basically, with that attitude, all you did was remind him how annoying you are. You really got under his skin. So he had to send you a message. And the message was, if this is your show, 
how come I'm going to demote you for a second season? That's right, people. They offered Vicky to come back as a friend of the show again for the upcoming season. And I guess her pride wouldn't let her accept the offer. I mean, what's so bad about being a permanent friend to the show? I mean, Marlo has done it her whole career. She still gets paid. I mean, this is a ego bruiser to Vicky Gumbelson. So at the end of the day, when Bravo basically said, take it or leave it, she chose to leave it. Now, I'm pretty sure Vicky's at home licking her wounds and completely devastated. But it is what it is. Let's be honest here. Reality TV will chew you up and spit you out. You only have a shelf life in this career. It is what it is. And at the end of the day, you really did last longer than the average reality TV star. I mean, who did you think you were? Kim Kardashian? And when you're done crying for six months, there's always the world of YouTube and podcasts. I mean, it's not as fancy as being on your own show, but welcome to the world of YouTube and podcasts. I mean, it's not that bad. We make pretty good money here. And some of us even become millionaires in our own right. So get that thought out of your head that oh, the only way to be successful is to be on the Real Housewives of Orange County because that's not true. You have a thriving insurance business. I mean, it is what it is. Stop crying already. And the best part in all of this, you get your privacy back. Once you have your podcast and your YouTube channel, you get to turn the tables. Now you get to judge the reality stars instead of being judged. And trust me when I tell you, that's much less stressful. Now, if you know Vicky the way that I know Vicky, I'm sure she's at home bawling her eyes out, wishing she was back on the show. But that's never going to happen. What part don't you get? When Andy Cum Cohen is done with you, he's done! Unfortunately, that's one of the perks of being a producer. You get to ruin other people's lives. I mean, too bad you weren't smart enough to get your own show and become executive producer like Lisa Vanderpump did. I mean, it is what it is. You have to accept it. Unfortunately, you fall into the category of one of the housewives that didn't prepare for a future. You didn't get your own show, you didn't get your own YouTube channel, you didn't get your own podcast, like many of the other reality stars. And I can't believe I'm saying this, you weren't smart like Brandi Glanville. She has her own podcast, her own YouTube channels. There's a lot of housewives that didn't fall in the trap of counting on the Real Housewives of Orange County. There's um, Candy Burris, she has her own YouTube channel, Mimi Leakes. She has her own YouTube channel. She has her own comedy shows. Plus, she has Broadway under her belt. And she even had her own TV sitcom. Remember that? I mean, I hate to say it, but Vicky, what in the hell were you doing when these other housewives were preparing for their future? I mean, even Kyle Richards had her own television show. Remember? I mean, really, at the end of the day, you have to admit you really messed up. And now you have to pay the consequences. But that doesn't mean life is over for you. I mean, when you move on to your podcast and your YouTube channel, it may take a while to get it started. I mean, you have to believe me when I tell you, life in the YouTube world doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. But the beauty in all of it is egotistical Andy Cohen will be out of your hair. You can live your life your way and you don't have to answer to anyone. And this time when you say, I started this show, you'll really mean it. And trust me when I tell you, that's going to feel better than when you told the lie that you started The Real Housewives of Orange County. Now, I know you were there from the beginning, but you didn't start a damn thing. I mean, I'm just being real. Because when you look up the word executive producer of The Real Housewives of Orange County, I'm sure you'll see the name Andy Coyne staring back at you. You didn't start anything. It was a ridiculous thing to say and a more ridiculous way to act. I mean, who yells at their boss on national television? You had to pay the price, Vicky. I'm sorry. You just had to. 
So now the Real Housewives of Orange County is water under the bridge to you. But don't get too down about it. Life does move on. Now, I told you how I feel about the situation. Now, I want to know how you feel about it. So what I want to know today in my comment section is, who is sad that Vicky's going to be gone? And will the show be just as good without her? Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!